guys, Greg C96 here, back with Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. Uh, episode 2, day number 1. Uh, so, it is 2.32. 2.52 will be the end of this episode. Let's pop right in. Ah, yes. Where I left off last time was mining in the dark. I hear lava noises. Turn up my headphones quite a bit, actually. Because I hear lava noises. I'm going to make myself some redstone torches. Because that's one of the things I said I would do, is start using redstone torches. To make this harder. Oh yeah, I found lava because there's lava over there. Oh wow, on Moody, redstone torches legitimately don't do anything. Okay, so I'm not going to be using redstone torches, because I legitimately can't. So I guess I'm just going to stick with the rest of the challenge as normal. Because redstone torches literally do nothing. That might just be a changed thing in Minecraft. So I'm actually going to just continue to mine, because I already have a farm going. Because I'm in a village. So this episode's going to be mainly mining. I saw purple, that was weird. More redstone. Maybe put that use to use in thriving. All my villagers won't die. That would be cool. Maybe I could do like a lonely village theme. I don't know, that could be interesting, I suppose. I'm gonna turn my headphones down a little bit, because that is loud game sounds. It would be awesome if I could find, like, literally any resources. Oh, yeah, eat that bread. I'm almost out of an iron pick, too. That zombie noise was loud because my headphones are cranked. So that legitimately scared me. That actually made me jump a little bit. I think this is where my iron was. <sighs> yeah, I did my iron halfway down, I think. Do one of those. Actually... Realistically, what we should do is I should get some... Okay, I want to do a pickaxe. And then I will make a stone axe. So I want to go get more trees, because wood's going to be important. And it's daytime, so I think I should spend the day getting my trees. So let's do that. Oh wow, I dug down quite a ways. I'm so tempted to like, actually let me make sure my chunk distance and video settings are all good. Okay. They are. Let me get less moody in here. Oh, I have villagers that are alive still, that's kind of nice. They didn't all die. Oh, I just got the achievement getting wood. Cool. Here, villagers running for their lives. I don't know if that means there's something in the village still or what. I just want to get a bunch of wood. I thought that was a creeper I saw down there. You know, there was some iron that I saw in Tim's episode. I think I found it, actually, but there was a baby zombie? Shit, where was it? I have no idea. I think it was over here. Let's 
It's not at all what I intended to do. See, it's when I turn my back like this that this is where I'm going to die. This is how I die. I'm telling you guys, this is how I die. So, oh, apparently, this is not how I die. Cool. Oh my god, it's so dark. I might have to bring the video brightness up, like when I'm rendering, because that's awful. If I can barely see, I can only imagine the video. Then again, it shouldn't be as bad on the video, because I'm playing on my monitor brightness low, too. Again, just super hard for me to see. I don't plan on exploring these caves, so I'm going to conserve the torches. Let's save the torches. Oh, it's... Oh my god, my render distance is so bad I can't even see the sky. So I don't know if it's day or night. Oh crap, I hit the wrong block. This is scary. For no reason. I heard a mob or something. I ain't about that life. Hear a bat though. That's a skeleton. Face my fears. Tears for fears. I want to adventure a little bit, I guess, but like I don't want to go too far and get lost. Hmm, I just want okay. Wow, is that really the difference between seeing the pig and not seeing the pig? Is that extra block? Holy cow! That's nuts. <laughs> I don't know why in my head I was like, that's a good idea. Eh, grab some of this coal, I guess, because it might be useful. Torches and whatnot. So I'm going to find myself probably using way too many torches this month. Mm hmm. That would be my guess. And not that it actually feels like nighttime at all on this world. Because, you know. Um, I can't even see the sky, but we're hitting about the 10 minute mark. So it feels like day still, even though, because my render distance is so low, I can't see the sky. Like, I can't even see the terrain in front of me. So, like, how do I see the sky? I don't want to get lost. Hello, magical appearing pigs. Okay. Back in the village. So I'm gonna probably bake some potatoes. Oh yeah, I did that in the last episode too. So I should have some baked potatoes there. Carrots don't really matter too much right now. 
Guess wheat matters. See, the thing that's throwing me off is I don't have a way to check the days. That's messing with me. Because it feels like day. But there's no way it's day. I don't even remember what house I was in. There's no way this is day, though. I think this was my house. My house. In the middle of my street. My house. Alright. Enough crappy music. Let's also light this place up. It's about to get lit in here. Oh, I did bake a bunch of potatoes last time. Um... Oh, I didn't get near as much wood as I thought I did. Whoops. Those redstone torches are now legitimately useless to me. I'm actually going to bring that coal with me. A little bit of wood, because I want to get the iron smelting downstairs. But I'll bring the bread too, I suppose. It's probably a good idea. Okay. I don't really feel like conserving torches anymore, because that could be bad. Don't want things spawning in on me. Like, I'm probably going overkill, but... I'd rather overkill than be killed, am I right? Got like eight minutes left. Poke, poke, poke. Okay, I don't see anybody. So if I hear things, it might actually be bad. Now let's just be as efficient as possible and try to get diamonds this episode, I suppose. Because I don't really have much of a goal. I just don't want to be in the dark. Oh, more iron. That's cool. Maybe we'll get armor this month, because I didn't last month. I don't think I did last month, anyways. Seven minutes remaining. Gold. Those carrots might be useful now after all. Redstone. More redstone. Coal. Come on. I, I, I'm at diamond level. I know I'm at diamond level. Suppose let me rephrase that. I have a very strong feeling that I'm at diamond level. Unless I royally screwed up my math in the last one. But I'm pretty sure I'm at diamond level. So I guess let's branch this way a little bit. I just don't want to run into that cave because it kind of expanded over this way. Sounds of love are closer. That's more iron. You know, I'm not feeling equipped to deal with that right now. I'm just really not. If I felt better equipped, 
sure. But I don't. I'm feeling naked and afraid. Cold and shamed, you know? I shouldn't have my furnace this far away. But it was a good idea at the time, right? I'm gonna invest right now in myself. That leaves me enough for like another pick or whatever. I say we end this episode on an adventurous note. How about you guys? What do you think? Let's go ahead and accidentally end myself. So we're relatively safe in that direction. Shit. Oh god. Screwed. <laughs> okay, I got adventurous. Then I ran into my mortal enemy. Let's heal a little bit. Got an arrow in my shoulder. Hurts a little bit. Let's do this. Gotta face my fears. Oh no. No, don't do this to me. Oh crap, combat system, right, there's cooldown. Did I get a bow? No, I did not get a bow. I got an arrow, but I did not get a bow. Oh! That was a spawner. Is that a spider dungeon? Let's get rid of that water. That's a dungeon. I can deal with spiders. It's the guys that can do ranged damage that mess with me. I'm gonna not be on the lava side of that. I think I just disabled it. String, couple of name tags, gunpowder, beetroot seeds, couple of iron, some bones, horse armor, and a bucket. Well, that was adventurous. Faced my fears, took out a skeleton, found a spider spawner. Maybe I'll make an XP farm or something this month. I don't know, I found lapis, so that means I could probably enchant soon. It would have been nice if I found diamonds in that dungeon. Um, I've braved the unknown that is this cave. Found iron. Butt ton of iron. Lit it up. And, um... 
yeah, I, I guess that's a decent wrapping up point for this episode, because I think we're at about the end anyways. And there's my pathway, so I don't really need to be so much of a sissy anymore. Maybe I'll explore the other part of the cave in the next episode. But I do think that's roughly it. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Peace! Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you're still in the mood to watch some more, why don't you check out one of these previous videos here? Or, if you want to watch more later, but not right now, that's cool too. You click on one of my lovely pieces of wall art here, you can either subscribe to myself, or to the Big Box of Gamers channel. Just make sure after you subscribe, you click that little bell notification icon there to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.